In this demonstration of Bobstruct Builder, I'm going to show you the uh, latest features. It's still a work in progress, um, but it's about the drive line and starting positions and timing gates and uh, pace notes. Um, to begin with, um, I've created a fairly simple track here. It um, consists of three different tracks um, joined together, and um, then we've got the drive line which at the moment is just showing up on the, the left hand side track. What we're going to do now is um, select the uh, top track and append that to our drive line. We want to create a drive line that goes down here across this section and back up this road. <coughs> um, at the moment I'm gearing this demonstration towards Richard Burns Rally. Um, in our factory you'd have uh, probably a circuit and uh, you'd join it back on somehow. Uh, there are slight differences uh, how you handle each game and um, I'm just going to stick mostly to talking about R Factor, um, sorry Richard Burns Rally. Um, I'll continue on and add the right hand side track to our drive line and um, there's still some other icons to to add in here that allow you to switch the, the um, driving direction uh, which I think is fairly important if you want to do reverse layouts. Um, for the moment we've got three different tracks that we've added and what I'm going to do now, because it's no good us wanting to drive this way and then all the way to the end here and then back again, um, I'm going to convert the top uh, track so that it, the drive line isn't taken from the, the spline itself, it's taken from um, points that we can manipulate so we break that up and uh, just gives you a warning here saying that if you want to switch it back then you can lose information um, and that allows us to to move these about or if I press the delete key you'll notice they disappear pretty quick and, and then we'll do likewise for this section and then uh, we've got a good driving line that we can move around um, you can adjust it. Uh, the purpose of this drive line in Richard Burns Rally is that when you call for help, this is where they're going to stick you back on. It also um, determines how the pace notes are going to be positioned. Uh, if I zoom in there, you can see that drive lines. It's just a wireframe rendering that uh, helps you find out uh, where the drive line is going to be. Um, you'll notice a new icon up here. There's nothing um, much to that except um, that's where your solid wireframe um, settings are. So if you want to see it in wireframe, just do that. I've moved that. There is no longer a pop-up when you press the right mouse button. Um, you actually move around just the same as you do on left. And there's a very good reason for that. The um, 3D view is um, more interactive and I'll just show you you can see the gates on here but they're yeah, easy enough seen and positioned about but the good thing is that you can now do this in the 3D view um, so you can see clearly and start to work in the 3D view and hopefully we'll do less and less in these 2D views uh, I'm still going to keep them around but um, as I have more features you're going to see more interactivity in the, the 3D view and less in the 2D views. Um, so you can position the start and the end, um, the finish, uh, pit in and pit out. You'll notice you can move about as well. They're only used for R factor, so I'm going to turn those off for now. Um, the finish line is where the marshals are, the end is where the timing uh, finishes and you've got two timing checkpoints to go through. Um, so you can position those wherever you are, uh, wherever you like, and um, you can do it in various different ways here. I'm going to change the start to be set manually. That allows us to move it off the drive line and anywhere you like. And this is where we start to see um, some of the cool stuff I've been working on that's going to help us um, edit through this 3D window. That, that start position is being uh, landed on top of the terrain or on top of the road uh, wherever you're basically dragging that. 
and um, so when it comes time to putting objects or, or trees and things like that on the terrain I've already got the code there written ready to make use of it so uh, um, it's going to make future editions a little bit easier even though this has been uh, a fairly long change for what seems like a, a fairly simple task um, <coughs> when you're moving things about manually you can change the rotation um, so you can just click on these handles and move them from side to side um, same for this one and um, you can also this is really only important for R factor but you can size the the size of these gates that you go through um, so you may need to fine tune things there um, that's about all I'll, I'll do for timing gates um, I will just switch this back by distance and um, set it up the top here so when I drive down it later on it's in a good position and um, then we'll move on to pace notes this is um, going to be a, a fun thing again you see I've not really used this uh, 2D view although we can uh, start to do that you can just drag and drop there um, but you can also drag and drop here um, so I'm just not really doing appropriate signs here but you can see the idea is to just move the pace notes about um, once you're kinda happy with the way things are you can get into fine tuning those um, if you want to get rid of one you can just select it and move it about and press the delete key um, I'll put it back um, the other thing you can do you might have noticed down the bottom here is put some variations on it so if I want to say here not to cut the next corner I can put a don't cut on it so that you'll find that uh, we don't get a don't cut call that has nothing on it at the moment um, you know, we can put a white out on there um, and if we move down here we can get into the other icons you can call the distance or you can put in a bump call here and um, that's about it I'll export that out and give it a go and see how it drives I'm using the keyboard here so it's going to be fairly rough but it'll uh, give you an idea there you have it. Um, you'll notice that the timing wasn't actually running there. Um, I haven't yet to uh, finish the coding for that, uh, but that shouldn't be too far away. And um, that's it for now.